So you and your partner are in the I formation. In this case, we're talking about the uh, deuce court. And the I, if you don't know, is just, it looks like an I, right? Um, you know, like there's the letter I. Uh, so you're kind of in that line versus being like that, which is the more standard, uh, standard formation. And this is a great formation to use if the returner is killing you with a cross court, uh, cross court return because you're now taking it away with this player. Now, the thing to keep in mind is at our level of play, we tend to not have the biggest serves. So what can happen is the serve gets hit and then both players make their move and tip their hand when the ball is like bouncing. So this player has plenty of time to adjust their shot and, uh, and uh, you know, hit to the open court or, or uh, you know, often actually going kind of back through the middle is a pretty good one when you're returning. But I digress. So what you wanna do, this player's gonna be crouched down. Crouched down. When the ball goes over the head, they're gonna stand up. Maybe they kinda creep forward a little bit like this, but they're gonna hold their move, whether it's this away or that away, or just staying there until the returner is swinging to hit. So again, at our level, at the club level, if you're playing with a partner or you're the server and you don't have a big serve, you need to delay the move. If you're serving and volleying, you need to move forward and then break one direction or the other. And if you're serving and staying back, it's similar. You kind of got to hold it. You might take a step or two in one direction uh, or the other, but you got to hold that move to make it, uh, to make it effective. And typically the, the place you'd want to serve on the... Uh, on the uh, deuce court here is, is T-serve to cut down the angles. And then, you know, the ensuing shot like this becomes more likely for your, uh, your partner to be able to pick off. Um, so those are some, some things to keep in mind when you're playing the I formation. And now we can move on to the Aussie formation. We're gonna do it out of the ad court. So the Australian formation, one thing, one way this formation and uh, this play is great is in the ad court. And the reason why is in a normal configuration like we've got right now, what you get is a lot of shields, right? Heroes down here and everything cross court, you've got a shield uh, volley in the middle, backhand volley, tends to be the weaker volley. It's coming over uh, to the shield over here for the server. So... By playing the Aussie in this case, you can actually reverse that. So the Aussie is where the server would stand near the tee and the service partner actually stands in uh, the service box over here. So you're taking away the cross court, but everything here is now a sword. So this is great, particularly if either you or your partner has a really weak backhand uh, shield volley, which you can often see at the club level. So what you can do in, uh, in this instance basically is server would serve, and whether they're serving, serving and volleying or serving and staying back, you know, serving and volleying, they'd come over here, serving and staying back, they would just move over there. But again, everything they're hitting is the strength. If the ser serve is directed at the shield, that's great because it's the weaker shot. Everything's gonna be tailing back this way, so uh, easier, uh, easier, you know, the ball's coming right to you. And if you wanna serve this ball uh, T instead, serve it here, what that does is actually allow your partner to poach. Because now, um, particularly if the returner's partner is somewhere here, the cross court becomes tough because you might like hit, the partner might get hit. So this, a T serve here is actually a great way to get the service partner involved with a, um, with a sword volley somewhere here where they can go and kind of just clog up the middle of the court and put that next ball away. So this is a great, uh, a great play to use in, uh, in the ad court to just go from hitting a weakness to hitting a strength. Also great if what you normally do isn't working. It's, a, it's an excellent, uh, excellent change up because um, it's such a massive, uh, frankly, such a massive change up. And again, you go from that weakness to the strength. So I would definitely encourage you to use, uh, use the Aussie formation in the ad court. Hope you like that training. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever sat in a middle seat on an airplane? It's terrible. But what isn't terrible is the singles playbook here and the doubles playbook. So if you click the link, I'll take you inside both and show you some of my favorite plays.